I recently learned how to add phone numbers to um, a Jabber account or XMPP account, and this is allowing me to have multiple phone numbers across any device um, without the use of my phone. And that's really nice. Uh, it's something that I wanted when I came across an app called MySudo for uh, iOS and Android. I could get multiple phone numbers, separate them for different needs like work, home, uh, stuff that I use when I sign up for things and I don't want people to call me ever. Um, and the problem with that is that I wanted to use um, Lineage OS or Graphene OS and my pseudo does not support those. And so I went on the hunt to try to figure out how can I get multiple phone numbers on Graphene OS. And my other requirement was that I could use it on my desktop in Linux but also if I wanted to use it in iOS or Windows that I could do that too. I wanted freedom to use my phone wherever I wanted to and to have multiple numbers. Uh, I have over here my Pixel 4a attached um, running Graphene OS and um, I'm gonna use two different things here. We're gonna use um, a Jabber client called Conversations to handle all of my text messaging and we're gonna use a SIP client to handle all of my phone calls, and we'll set up both here. All right, let's jump in. All right, if you check out the Jump website, um, you'll see a whole list of phone numbers you can grab, but in my case, um, I plan on, let's pick one, like 845. And I wanna pick a phone number in that area code, so here are all the ones that I can choose. Uh, you can also, let's say I want a prefix um, or I don't know what you call that section of a phone number, but I want that. And, um, okay, so I could just pick any one here. Uh, let's see, 0545. I could probably remember that, 0544. That sounds even better. And if you, uh, so basically you need one Jabber account or one XMPP account. I'm just going to say Jabber from now on because it's less syllables. And per phone number. Now, I chatted with a developer at JMP Jump, and they said that eventually they hope to be able to support multiple numbers assigned to a single Jabber account, but for now you need a separate Jabber account per phone number that you want to add, which really isn't that big of a deal, um, as I found out. I was annoyed at first, but then it, it's actually kind of nice because then I can just delete the Jabber account, delete the phone number if I ever need to, and build a new one, and that doesn't affect any of my other ones. Okay, so in order to do that, they recommend using uh, this server, and if they recommend it, then why the heck not, right? So we can open up this, it's super easy uh, to do this. I'm gonna fill out this form and come right back. My XMPP account was successfully registered. Okay, that's all we need for now. Step two, sign up with your blah, 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 using your app. So on mobile, we can do this with conversations. I'm going to create one here. I have a couple of different conversations. This is not my first phone number, so this is an additional phone number that I'm adding, which is cool. We're gonna manage accounts. Uh, we're going to add this account. Uh, let's see, it was Howling Moon at Dismail. So they already kind of know that a lot of people use Dismail, which is nice. And I don't need to register it on this server because we already registered it on in our browser. So we're going to click OK, Next. And it's going to try to connect to the Dismail server. Great, this is um, a good sign. We're going to skip this for now. And OK, we're in. And let's see. See if the account shows up here. Yep, there we are. Okay, then we continue. And now we give them our name again so that it can send us some information. All right, there it is. I need to see that code, please. I don't know if I can copy paste from here. No, I don't think I can. Cool, so now you could use this for 30 days 
um, no problem. And you could have the full functionality and then it would warn you at some point, hey, you know, your trial's up. Or in my case, I know I'm gonna use this so I could pay for it now. I guess I'll come back. Well, I'll do it now real quick and edit this out, hold on. Okay, I've paid. Uh, good news here is that it works with privacy.com uh, credit cards, which I really like. Okay, and so after you're done with that, it should show you uh, a bunch of information and you could print this, save it, whatever you'd like to do. Um, but it kind of walks you through the process we're going to do you, and how to set up voicemail, which we will also do. Um, we can open this up for later. Uh, please start by installing a SIP client. Um, they do not recommend Linphone for Android. They recommend uh, the one that I have there. Um, and then you will need this stuff for making calls. At this point, your text messages, though, should work. Oh, I'm showing you all kinds of things I shouldn't be showing you. This is not a valid account anymore, just in case you're wondering. All right, so here I can test this. Um, I'm going to I have another phone here with a separate SIM card, and I'm going to send a message. And there it is. Now you'll see this stuff um, at the end. This is the phone number I sent it from. This is the server that JMP runs and um, that, that uh, enables all of this stuff. So there's another caveat to using this for text messages. It does not hook up to your, to my knowledge, and please, if you figure it out, I would love to know, it does not hook up to your contacts address book and you have to have the contact in your conversations contact list in order to message them. So if I were to want to create a new message to someone, I would have to first create the contact if they weren't in my contact list already. So that's a little bit of a pain because you're kind of duplicating all of your contacts. Um, I would love to find out if there's a way to sync that up, but I don't know of one yet. I'm still new to this. The other nice thing is when you, uh, about this server is that they're available to chat with you all the time. Um, but this is a bot. Uh, this, so that was confusing. They're available to chat with you, but this is a bot. First of all, let's cover the bot. You can do all kinds of things. Um, I believe, is it help? I can't remember the command. Yes. So these are all the things that you can do, uh, including recording your voicemail greetings. So you would copy paste well, in my case, you would just type record voicemail greeting, press enter, and it would prompt you to do the rest, including connecting you to an audio server that would record your thing. Um, you can also do other things. Um, usage will show you, like I just paid for mine. Let's see what I have left here. I guess that didn't work very well, did it? Uh, Reset your SIP account. All right, so if I haven't completely confused you yet, um, basically, when you get to this screen, by the time you get here, your text availability is set up. You need to have uh, the contact in the contact list of this application in order to text them, or they need to text you first, and then you can add them uh, to your list if you'd like. I have them here. All right, so let's go into phone calls next. For phone calls, uh, the recommended app for Android is CSIP Simple. Linphone does not like the tilde character that all of the um, jump SIP user IDs contain. I learned that the hard way, uh, but you could, uh, you could try it on another uh, application. Who knows, maybe Linphone works differently on other app, uh, other platforms, but this is what I found to work for me for phone calls, and it works great. So uh, this is called CSIP Simple, like I said, and to add an account, you can have multiple, as you can see here. Um, we can just click Add Account, and we'll go down to Basic, and then this is where we input all of this information.
Okay, so all that information is in. Press save. And now we've got a new phone number. So let's test it. I'm going to call from my other phone. Okay, starting to dial. And there it is. So I could pick it up. It took me a while to figure out you don't just tap that thing. And that's it. Now let's see if we can make an outbound call. We can go back to the menu here. Oops. And that number is already up there, so I'm going to call it and I'll put my phone up here. There you go. Pretty nifty. Um, and if I want to change what number, oh, actually, I made it from the wrong. Uh, we didn't make it from the new one. So that's how you switch it. Um, but take my word for it, it will work. But, um, you know, don't take my word for it. Let's do it again and assume that if this works, then we're all good. Okay. Oops. There it is. Cool. All right, so that covers phone calls and text messages. Um, I've probably forgotten something. Like I said, I'm new to this too, so I won't be able to answer any of your technical questions, but if you do have technical questions related to the Jump Chat service, you can chat them up. And the best way to do that is, I think it's this one. Let's see, yes, this is the developer the main developer, there are probably other ones. And um, I don't know, mine's probably way back there, but uh, he was very helpful and patient with me in answering all of my noob questions. You can watch other people's questions. Um, just type right in here what you want to do and that's it. And oh, it looks like someone in our, in our world is asking for stuff. All right, I hope that's helpful, goodbye. I just wanted to add one more thing, in my case, I wanted to jump in the whole way and port my personal, my existing phone number, which I plan on phasing out and not using anymore, uh, but still want to have in case someone tries to reach me that way and I need to get that message from them. You can bring your own phone number to JMP. Um, there was some confusion on my part as to whether or not you needed to create a new uh, Jabber ID or not. Um, and so I messaged uh, the folks in um, that channel that I was talking about, and oh my gosh, they were so quick. Uh, 920, two minutes, less than two minutes. Um, and basically, uh, this is the correct order of events that you should do. You should register an XMPP account, actually get a JMP number, pay for the service, and then run it with this. And then the number that you're porting in will replace the one that you had purchased from JMP. And to my knowledge, uh, goes away. I could be, actually, I have no knowledge on that. So I'm gonna totally backtrack on that. Um, hopefully one of you can figure that out and let us know in the comments. Thank you.